Senator Rubio expressing regret for the attacks that he unleashed against Republican frontrunner Donald Trump. So he admitted, that is to say Rubio, that stooping to schoolyard taunts was embarrassing for him. Former Republican presidential candidate, Trump supporter, Governor Mike Huckabee is with me now. Governor, glad to have you. So what do you make of Senator Rubio, first of all, stooping to that level, then feeling bad about it, talking about that and trying to out Trump Trump? Let me first of all say I, I've not endorsed anyone, so I've often been accused of being a Trump endorser. I am defending the process that we're going through, and I've okay, been very noted. unhappy with the way that some Republicans have uh, you know, wet their pants over the fact that Donald Trump seems to be doing so well. But I thought Marco Rubio showed a lot of class last night in that interview with Megyn Kelly. And that's the Marco Rubio that I know, the one who was my Florida co-chairman back in 2008. A classy guy, uh, you know, not a mean person at all. And when I saw him engage in some of the uh, attacks on Trump, some of the very personal things and, and really silly things, I thought, Marco, somebody's handed you a script. That's not you. And I was so very grateful to hear from his own lips last night for him to say, that's just not who so I Governor, am. So, Governor, a few and weeks ago, though, it. or rather a few days ago, he said, I know that's not me. But at some point, Donald Trump is a bully. Somebody has to push back. And at the time, I thought that was the right thing to do. Is the tone of this campaign more childish than what you lived through or what you saw others live through? Absolutely. It's, it's not been a, a very highbrow process. And I think part of it is, is many of the candidates have had a hard time figuring out how do they deal with Donald Trump. He can do certain things because... It's part of who he is. It's part of his brand, part of his shtick, if you will. It is not a part of the uh, everyday way of life for a Marco Rubio, or for that matter, for, for me, or for a Jeb Bush, or a lot of other people who were on that, that stage. But it's clear that the game has changed. Well, here's what's changed. Whatever Donald Trump says is going to get unfettered attention. I mean, the fact that he had that news conference the other night, did you, and he went for an hour. And it preempted Hillary, it preempted Bernie, it preempted everybody, because it's great TV. But yeah, what we're seeing is an election process that's really been more about what's good for the media rather than what's good for America. So, 